it's Ollie from Ollie's Drift Garage. I'm here today at Host Techniques where we're going to be doing a full retrofit of all our vacuum lines on this RX-7. The whole purpose for doing this is due to the factory's use of rubber lines, over time and in conjunction with the heat of the motor, these lines will get brittle and hard. So by using the Host Techniques silicone host kit that we're going to be doing today, we're going to end up with not only a really nice presentation under the hood, but full functionality and peace of mind that we're going to have the optimal performance out of our lines. This is exactly what we're talking about when we say that the rubber over time will become hard and brittle. If you can see, it's a little blurry because I got such a close up, but you can see the cracks right there as I push on the rubber. And to tell you the truth, it's taken a little bit of effort to actually get it to scrunch down because it's so hard. It actually feels kind of like it uh, becomes a little bit like plastic over time but uh, that's what we're going to avoid with the installation of Host Techniques hose kit. Being that it's one of their most popular kits Host Techniques offers everything that you'll need to upgrade and replace all the vacuum lines in your RX-7 FD3S. Included with the hoses our Hose Techniques Super Cutter, Hose Techniques Super Slitter, all required zip ties, Hose Techniques World Class Silicone Hose Limited Warranty, and the peace of mind that everything is included. First things first, you're going to want to disconnect the negative terminal of your battery prior to starting any installation of any components in your engine bay. It's smart to use an X-Acto knife and cut a slit in the hose so that you don't break any of your plastic pieces like these little pills over here. You're going to then take the hose that you removed, compare it to the Hose Techniques hose, measure it off, and cut off your lengths. And then go ahead, gently replace the hose. Alright, it's very important that when you cut your hoses, you cut them perfectly straight. The reason for this is that if there's any um, unevenness in the cut, the silicone has a tendency to separate and before you know it, you're going to have leaks. So as long as you have a nice, perfectly straight cut, you'll be fine. As there are many lines, we're going to mark the locations of connection with a number and then correspond that on our hoses with a number as well. And don't worry about marking up your silicone because that ink will come right off with some rubbing alcohol. As you can see, we have we have now replaced the majority of our vacuum lines underneath the manifold. And we're going to continue on the exterior lines around the manifold. You want to make sure you want to make sure that all your lines are zip tied to prevent any unwanted popping off of the lines that could potentially result in some damage to the system. In addition to a host of vacuum line sizes, Host Techniques also makes various diameter breather lines. As seen here, we have our intake breather lines and they're also known for their high quality turbo couplers 
which we'll show later. We finally completed the functional installation of all the vacuum lines from Host Techniques kit. We also added additional couplers on all the intake piping and turbo piping. Now we're going to make sure that our installation has been a success and we're going to fire up the car. Fires right up. Successful installation. All right. Now that we've finished the installation of our vacuum hose kit, there's a uh, there's a lot of dress up items we can attend to. Um, for instance, these greenish looking hard lines. Uh, we could actually make those match the rest of our uh, setup that we have here. Hose Techniques includes a super slitter in their kit. What you're going to want to do with this is you're going to want to find the inside uh, radius of your, of your hose. As you can see, the hoses have a natural curve to them. Once you find that inside, you're going to take your super slitter and just cut right up the middle. Like that. Next, now that you have an opening, you're going to go ahead and just push on the hose over whatever it is that you want to cover. Your finished product will be a nice color matched hose cover to all your hard lines. Alright, we finally finished dressing up the engine bay. As you can see, We've highlighted the engine bay with red and silver. Overall, the look is very clean and functional. We look forward to seeing this car in a spread and modified magazine, so be on the lookout.